Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new World to Live and Land video. This is going to be on the classes in the game. Obviously the miner, the hunter, the mercenary and the engineer. We're going to be going over them, talking about them. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. So I hope you enjoy this video guys. Let's get on with it. Alright, so you have four classes in World to Live Online. You have the miner, the hunter, the mercenary, the engineer. So what I think a lot of people forget about this game because they've got a gun in the hand is this is not a um, first person shooter like Call of Duty or Escape from Tarkov or you know anything like that. This is an MMO, MMORPG. It's a multi, a multi, massively multiplayer online role play game. <laughs> I could not get my words out then. But yeah, so this, like I said, there's four classes, the minor, so the easiest way to go over the classes is the miner is the tank, the hunter, uh, yeah, the hunter is the assassin, the mercenary is a brute, and the engineer is a support. So if you're not used to MMOs um, or RPGs or whatever, then obviously you might not know what any of them words mean that I've just said. So let's have a quick, like, talk over them. So the miner is, like I said, it's a tank. He's tanky. Um, so you have uh, skills in the game. Obviously, as you level up, you can get more skills for your character so with the minor you can get extra hp skills um you can get take less damage skills make it so the armor you're wearing doesn't slow you down as much and uh, you know just general stuff like that anything to make you more tanky he's very he's very good at close range he prim his primary weapons are shotguns so that is basically the minor super tanky a lot of strength he can carry a lot of stuff he wears heavy armor and he uses shotguns. It's all about close range, up in your face. You know, if you get up close and you're on your minor, you know, max level against the max level hunter or something, nine times out of ten, you are going to win that fight. All right, on to the complete opposite. The hunter, the complete opposite to a minor. Super squishy, has barely any HP, dies super easy, he's barely got any strength, like he can't carry that much stuff. Um, uses sniper rifles. Obviously, he's a hunter, he's a sniper, he uses a sniper rifle. Very, very, extremely high single shot damage, but the guns do not shoot fast, like, at all. There's the new level 40 weapon that they brought in that is a semi-auto. Uh, it can take out miners pretty well, to be fair, but up close, again, the, mi the miner's going to win nine times out of ten. And then his most powerful weapon, the L96, can one shot a another hunter, um, an engineer, and a mercenary almost every single time. It will one shot them if you've got an L96 with the correct ammo and everything. So yeah, uh, the main bonus to the uh, the hunter for PVE actually is you can see where the enemies are on the mini map. Like you can see the monsters on the mini map. That's the hunter's bonus, and then also. You the two skill lines you have you have your PvP skill PvP skill line and your PVE skill line. The PVE skill line with the hunter is that you get more loot from killing stuff. So the hunter is like the one of the best PvP classes, and also one of the best PVE classes. For, for if you want to make money, you want a hunter. Like that's how you make your money. But obviously, if you go down that skill line, it's not going to be as good in PvP. Uh, so it all depends on what you do. Like me personally, because I have four I, I have four characters. I use a hunter that um, doesn't even use the best gun in the game. He doesn't use an R96. I just use the Pioneer. And I literally just have him as a farming character. That is literally all he's for. Um, but yeah, that's what the hunter is basically. Amazing in PvP. Really good money maker in PvP. He's not the best PvE character. He can't take on certain mobs. But for making money, definitely the best for making money. Like, like, without a doubt. So anyway, onto the brute slash the mercenary. So the mercenary basically is a mix between the miner and the hunter. <laughs> he's, you know, he's got decent health. He's not as tanky as the miner. He has got good health. Uh, this guy is all around, all about your fighting. It's literally all he's about. So he's got, um, you know, fully automatic assault rifles. That's what he uses. AK-47, M16, you know, all that good stuff. That is what he's all about. When it comes down to PvP, this is the all-around type character. You can, you know, he can fight hunters at range, 
But obviously, if the hunter get, hits his first shot, there's a good chance the mercenary's going to lose. But if they don't, the mercenary's going to win. It can also take out miners up close. Obviously, if the miner is a good player and he doesn't miss any of his shots, then the miner will win. You know, this is the mid type character. He's good at range, good at short range, got okay health, can wear medium armor, so he's got, you know, a bit of tank ability to him. So, he's, like I said, he's not as good as the miner for tanking, he's not as good as the hunter for range, he's literally smack bang in the middle, he's really good at both, but he's not the best at any. That's the best thing with the mercenary. He's good at everything, but he's not the best at anything. Obviously, for up-close fights, your miner's your best, for long range, your hunter's your best, your mercenary is, you know, he's in, in between them. So yeah, that's the mercenary anyway. So the mercenary skill line is basically you want it. There's two skill lines. I can't remember the top skill line. Um, well, I can't remember one of the skill lines. So you've got one of the skill lines that's for PVE and one that's for PVP. The one that's for PVP gives you bonus crit chance. That's what you want. So I can't tell you off the top of my head whether it's the bottom or top skill line. Just You want the one with crit chance because then obviously you've got a better chance of hitting critical shots when fighting miners or hunters or engineers or other mercenaries or whatever. But yeah, that's basically the mercenary. Kind of tanky. Good, wears good armor. Fully automatic assault rifles. So he's good at close range, mid range, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's the mercenary anyway. On to the last one, which is the engineer. So the engineer is personally kind of my favorite because he has lo like he has loads of crazy gadgets. The problem is with him is he's just as squishy as the hunter like, you know, really low life, is only allowed to wear light armor. He uses SMGs, so he's only good at close range, no good at long range, which is kind of terrible. So obviously with, like, some way, say, say with the hunter, you're super squishy, but you can one-shot someone from miles away. The engineer, super squishy, but you're fighting people up close, and you're dying in two, three bullets. This guy is not for going head on that's not his his idea like it's an engineer he's a support character he can heal people he can put revive stations down so people can revive on the revive station rather than going back to the uh, spawn point um he can use jammers for taking down the force fields on the bases he can hack the bases to can take control of the bases and stuff like that that's you know that's his idea he's there to help people so th this is what i love about this game having something like an engineer in this game makes it so if you're not a really good first person shooter but you'd like to try the game out the engineer is the perfect role for you so even though you're not the best at pvp you can still be super helpful in pvp by like reviving people putting claymores down to stop people from flanking you know healing people with their healing grenades and the, the healing gun's kind of crap it is there it will help but it's not very good you're better off with the grenades um but yeah that's that's his primary role he uses smgs Super close quarter, super squishy, but he's all, you know, you t for you to take a base on the PvP back canyon, you have to have an engineer. You have to have one. If not, you can't take it. So, I, I like, the point of all the other classes is to get the engineer there. Them in front, him stood behind, putting stations down, healing people, all that good stuff, yeah. So he's a really cool character. I, I really love the engineer. I, I don't know why, it's just, like I said, it's just all the gadgets. I can still shoot with him. I've shown that in a couple of videos in the past. Um, but yeah, I, I just love all the little gadgets. It's like, same with PvE. Because you're close range and you're really squishy, you die really easy. But you have the little gadgets that you can use. So, you know, you can put like a healing station down. And you can stand in the healing station. So as you're fighting in PV, PvE... You're healing constantly at the same time. I mean, you can also put the revive station down. So if you die, you aren't going to run all the way back to where you just died. You can just respawn where you died. So what I'd usually do is just put a revive station down. I mean, a healing station down inside the revive station. So I mean, if I die, I'll respawn and I'll start healing instantly. Like why you have the uh, two second delay before you can start shooting again. But yeah, that's that's basically it. That's the classes in uh, Will to Live Online. So obviously, you want to pick the class that suits you. You want to be a big tanky close quarter guy pick a miner you want to be that super sneaky assassin pick a hunter you want to be that guy that's just you know he's good at everything but not a pro at anything do you know what i mean like take a mercenary you know I mean? mercenaries are built for pvp in my opinion 
you know, you want to, you're not very good at shooting, but you want to be able to, like, you know, still help out in the fight. It's taken engineer. There's a class for everyone in this game. That's what I like about it. Uh, so, yeah. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. Obviously, there's going to be new videos coming out for this game because I've just started getting back into it. I'm, just, I'm going to go remake all the quest videos. I'm, I'm making a new mercenary right now. Like, th this is why I'm on this screen. I'm about to make the mercenary. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.